The top two golfers after four rounds were tied on 11 under 273 and the championship had to be settled through a playoff. After three par attempts on the par 3 13th, Swede Jens Fabring sank his tee shot into the water hazard, leaving Italian Lorenzo Gagli with a clear chance of victory. Well, you know, the playoff, there is just a win, and uh, it's bad to probably to, to win like this with a, with a giant mistake. But, you know, it's golf, and uh, obviously, congratulations to, to Jens uh, to, to do a great tournament. And, uh, yeah, I, I just I just hit, hit the seven irons four times, and I never, I never go, uh, do it a good shot. But, you know, it's golf, and I win. This was Gagli's first European challenge to a victory. He pocketed 99,000 US dollars and collected 80,000 points. South African Oliver Baker led the African players. He ended up joint sixth with 9 under 275. Baker was joined in the top 10 by compatriot Trevor Fisher on 8 under 276. Oh, good. You know, it's, I'm glad to represent and. Uh, yeah, hopefully next year we can go a couple better and uh, maybe win, win one for Africa. Of the 42 African golfers, only nine made the money bracket on Friday. Among those that missed the cut was Nigeria's top pro, Andrew Odo. I thought I had a chance this week, to be honest with the way I'm playing. My preparation was good coming into this week, but I just didn't put it together. You know, I made nine drop shots in two rounds, so that's not too good enough. So, But uh, I personally think that um, overall uh, there are a lot of positives to take through the week, to be honest. Following a successful 50th edition with increased prize money, there are more plans to improve the annual event. I am persuaded, persuaded and very happy to announce an increase in our government contribution from the 1 million euros to 2.2 million euros. <laughs> the challenge tour next heads to China for the Yunnan Golf Open in April. After four days of grueling competition in this historic edition of the Barclays Kenya Open, it was fitting that in the end the winner was determined via playoff. Lorenzo Gagli says the victory here in Nairobi will kickstart his 2018 European Challenge Tour campaign. As for the African golfers who failed to make the cut, they say they picked up important lessons. Edmond Nyabola, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.